What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at Control Center and all of the options in Control Center for your iPhone 15. This will work for the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Max as well. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So this video will just give you a breakdown of all of the features of Control Center. So to get started, let's check out how to actually access Control Center and what Control Center is. Control Center is essentially a quick options and controls menu that you can access from any screen on your iPhone. So whether you're in an app or when you're in your settings or in your call, you can always access Control Center. To gain access to Control Center, what you want to do is actually swipe down from the bottom right of the top right of the screen there. So once again, from the top right of the screen to the right of the dynamic island, what you want to do is just swipe down and then you'll gain access to control center. And as you can see, there's a layout of options that you have available to you. Some of the most obvious ones here are, let's just start with these two vertical sliders here. This is your brightness and your volume slider here. So this controls the master volume for the phone and this also controls the master brightness for the phone's screen. A kind of quick tip and quick and hidden tip about these two sliders is that if you actually hold on to the volume slider, you actually get a full screen slider so you can much more accurately adjust your volume. The same goes for brightness, so if you hold down on the brightness slider, you can quickly adjust your brightness with a much finer uh, accuracy with this vertical slider. When you hit this button to actually access the full screen brightness slider, you actually get quick access to a few other modes on your iPhone as well. This is dark mode, night shift, and true tone. So if you want to quickly access or turn on any of these three features, you can do so right from Control Center. So right off the gate in Control Center, you have a now playing section here where if you have music or a video playing you can skip ahead skip back or just hit play there with the now playing section and then to the left here you have your data so if you have your sim data installed on your phone you can hit that button to quickly turn on or off data and you can also quickly hit this button to turn on or off airplane mode on the control center as well so you can quickly access and enable or disable airplane mode if you hold down on this button, you'll see that you have the option with an expanded menu to turn on or off cellular data, turn on or off Wi-Fi, turn on or off Bluetooth, turn on or off AirDrop, and also turn on or off your personal hotspot as well. So it's nice a nice quick access to various network options that you have on your phone. So here is the Wi-Fi button and then you can turn on or off Wi-Fi by hitting that button and if you will hold down on that button you'll actually be able to see which available Wi-Fi networks that your iPhone can connect to. And then this is the Bluetooth button where you can turn or on or off Bluetooth and you can hold this button as well to see available Bluetooth devices in the area. To the bottom of that is actually your rotation lock, so you can enable or disable rotation lock just by hitting that button and then you'll be able to switch to landscape mode. To the right of that button is the screen mirroring, so if you have a screen mirroring capable device you can actually mirror it just by hitting that button there and your iPhone will also look for it too. To the bottom of that are the modes quick options for the control center. So if you hold down on this button, you can see you can quickly access different modes, whether it being personal, work, sleep, or do not disturb mode as well. So if you want to enter do not disturb mode, you can just hit it there from control center with this button here. And finally, there's a few other quick access shortcuts that are installed default on Control Center. One is your flashlight, so if you turn the flashlight button on, you'll see that the flashlight will be turned on for the iPhone. And the next is the timer button, so you can go to your timers and your clock. 
and then next is the calculator so if you want quick access to the calculator it's right there in control center and then finally you also have your camera there as well which will quickly access the camera app so there you have it, everyone just a quick breakdown of all the options available to you for default on control center for the iPhone 15 series of phones if you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful leave a message down below don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching